the first time you tried to sing while you were playing the violin, did it feel natural? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Because you know, your chin plays a role. Right. It's something I, I haven't done very much, but um, I saw Tim O'Brien do it. I've been watching him for a long time, and uh, he's really, really good at it, something to strive for. And um, up until very recently, we've actually had a female singer in the band, uh, Emily Gimble, and uh, she recently uh, left a tour with Asleep at the Wheel, which is, which is great, and uh, we're happy to see her go. But we all have to adjust a little bit, so I'm trying to play her part on the fiddle while I'm singing mine and uh, just going for it. Yeah. <laughs> so your dad was Champ Hood, who is yeah. a part of a legendary band in Austin, Uncle Walt's band. Right, right. And, um, and so, you know, you, you've got this family history thing, uh, but when you picked up your instrument at 11, you didn't pick up a fiddle, you picked up a violin. <laughs> well, it was the same thing, but yeah, I, uh, I got into... The only reason I started really was um, in Austin, at least at that time, um, when you started junior high, you had to pick an instrument or the choir for at least a year. And so I kind of got forced into it, and then I found out I really liked it, and I stuck with orchestra all throughout um, high school. Um, and meanwhile, I was kind of listening to my dad's, uh, you know, blues and bluegrass and country stuff and just growing up in Austin. So they kind of just blended together and I do what I do. So th there was a turning point, though, because, I mean, you, when you went to school, you went to Berkeley and studied mostly classical and jazz. Um, Berkeley was mostly jazz, very little classical. All the classical work came in Austin with okay. a private teacher. Um, but, yeah, uh, I kind of had to decide that I want to go off and play in a symphony and try to get into Juilliard, or did I want to go off to Berkeley and learn jazz and, and do what I'm doing, and that's kind of what I did. So the music of Grappelli. Yes. That was the thing, right? That was what helped cross me over. Um, my dad was a big Django Reinhardt fan and uh, gave me some of those records when I was young to listen to the guitar, but I latched onto the, the violin, and uh, so Grappelli was kind of my gateway drug to the blues. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, and it, and it was so funny to have that circuitous route. Yeah. It kind of basically takes you back to your dad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You you know, you lost your dad about 10 years or so ago. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I know he left you your, I read that he left you his record collection. He did. Um, almost a thousand vinyl records. Were you familiar uh, with the contents of that collection? I'm still not. I still go through them. I have a pile going of stuff that I've listened to once that I don't ever want to hear again that I'm going to give away to people. And I have another pile of stuff I've never heard that I need to figure out what it is. And another pile of, I love these records. <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, when I read that, I thought, well, you know, I mean, having lost my folks, it's sort of like to have that kind of an artifact mm -hmm. that speaks to his heart after he's gone. Yeah. I, I imagine you probably learned something about your dad just going through those records. I did, and it's amazing how much... Um, just like kind of like psychedelic rock stuff there is because yeah, I guess he was a child of the 60s and uh, early 70s and uh, he's mostly known for folk music and acoustic guitar and fiddle uh, but his collection has a lot of uh, this like crazy out there psychedelic rock stuff <laughs> you know also everything the Beatles ever did and a lot of classical guitar and yeah. stuff you'd expect yeah. but there's a lot of unexpected we're talking with Warren Hood, who is taking the Warren Hood Band down to the Crossroads for First Fridays tonight. And again, from 6 to 8, it's the preview of the traveling exhibit, Vibrant Bounty, Chinese Folk Art from the Shanxi region. And if you want to get more information about that, of course, you can go to their website or pull out the preview section from the Kansas City Star on Thursday. They had a great piece on it. And that exhibit is going to be open from 6 to 8. And at 8 o'clock, it goes over to the Warren Hood Band, and it is a live show outside the Mid-America Arts Alliance at 2018 Baltimore. We'd love to hear another song. Yeah, well, we were talking about Uncle Walt's band a second ago, so um, I'd like to play one of their songs now. It's uh, called As the Crow Flies. You got it. All right. <laughs>
the shore As a crow flies As a cat moves And as the bird flies And as a river